All right, what do you do if your friend is starting to become distant, taking a little longer to return texts, maybe not returning phone calls at all, or maybe even avoiding you? So what do you do? The worst thing to do is to try to get that closeness back because then you look desperate and then he or she is going to pull back even more. So try one time, just one time to sit this person down, your really good friend and say, look, if I did something wrong, I really want to know. So don't say to her or him, you are distancing yourself and I want to know why, or I can't get a hold of you. What is your problem? No, instead, put the emphasis back on you. If I did anything to hurt your feelings, if you feel like I said something or did something, I'd like to know. I'd like to rectify the situation because our friendship means a lot, or however you want to say it. And even if you can't have this sit down because she's impossible to get a hold of, you can do it by text. Just say in a text or an email or leave a phone message or whatever and say, look, if I did something wrong, I'd like to know, let's talk. And she's going to look at it like, what? And maybe because you're not being accusatory and saying, you did this, you did this, and you're not paying attention to me and you're not returning my phone calls and all that. Maybe if, if you bring it up like, okay, what can I do? to make the situation right, then she might be like, oh, wait, she wants to change. I mean, this could be nothing to do with you too. It could have nothing to do with how you're behaving, what you've said, what you've done. It could be that she just wants to move on. Maybe she has a new job and has no time or is changing schools, going to another college. I mean, you don't know. I'm just throwing things out there. I don't know. But what I'm saying is a lot of times when your life changes, your friends change. So get used to it. Get used to it because it, it does hurt. And it, it hurts because you feel like, okay, I had this friend for so long. And why is he or she just abandoning me? Like, I, I don't know what happened. It's out of the blue. And it may be out of the blue to you, but... If you look back, you probably saw some signs before. And the only thing you can do is look ahead, not, not back. Don't, don't beat yourself up. It's not you. It's a life situation. It's she wants to be friends with other people, maybe in her same boat. Like maybe you're all single and suddenly she got married and wants to hang out with married people. Or who knows? I mean... It could be a million different reasons, but don't sit there and try to analyze it and figure out why. Just realize it's not you. You got to move on. And I don't really think this is the end if it's a good friendship because she'll come back. She'll come back. Maybe not now, maybe not two months from now, but maybe a year from now, maybe when she matures and realizes, Hey, I lost somebody really, really great who listened to me, who had my back and I just abandoned her. And she might come back and then you don't want to hold this grudge and say, wait, you left, you left our friendship a long time ago. No. Say, okay, I understand. And just pick up where you left off. But try, say every few months to just send a text. Don't, don't make it a question. Don't make it something that she has to answer. Just send a text saying, hey, just check in to see how you're doing. So she doesn't have to answer. Just you're wanting to know how she is. That's it. That's it. And then maybe six months later, do the same thing or send an email just so that you know that, or she knows that you care and that you're leaving the door open for the friendship to resume. Because the worst thing you can do is to get all mad, leave in a huff, be like, I'm never going to talk to her again. No, because you don't, again, you don't know what's going on in her head. So leave the door open. And if a friendship is meant to last, honestly, it really will.